to 1.2 mil in cash. I'm going to buy some pure essence real quickly just to keep me going with the nature runes because I'm enjoying doing the right nature rune uh, rune crafting right now. So let me buy another 15k pure essence, and uh, you know let's continue with the rune crafting grind. Let's go. So, a part of the From Scratch series requires me to get everything from scratch. Hence, got to get my Witch Doctor mask. I'm dropping it on the floor. And I'm hopping worlds. GG, Witch Doctor mask. Come on, hop worlds. You, June Seed, you need to stay alive. Good luck. In before dead. So, I've got a couple of the necessary items to get me some Phoenix um, feathers. And, um, you know, one of the main things I'm going to be doing on this series is uh, doing Frost Dragons because they're quite good money per hour and they're quite relaxing as well. So I'm going to quickly use my Yak. Um, I think, I don't know how to do this. We're using the White Rhino. Yep, that works. And then my ID Cloak so I, don't, so I fail less. And my Super Dominion Medallion so I can tell it back here. Let's go collect some uh, Phoenix Feathers. Oh, it's a good feeling when your first out of your five is alive. Let's hope for the other ones are still alive as well. Number two out of five. This one never dies, but that's three out of five. Come on, give me four. Give me four out of five, baby. Look at that, four out of five. Look at that, five out of five. Do all fleas. Making money. And I only got 38 herbs. With the with the juju farming, I probably would have got an extra maybe 10. So yeah, that's why I want the juju farming potion. Ah, it feels so good having to be geared up for some frost dragons for the first time in the series. Let's get on the frost dragon grind. We made the first maybe three and a half mil off of rune crafting, um, nature runes. So let's see how much more we can make off some frost dragons. So I've decided to unlock Chaotix. I'm going to be using uh, 2 million Dungeoneering XP to obviously unlock the Chaotic. Um, I'm not going to buy it with any tokens because I have 900,000 tokens uh, stored up within the um, within the trader dude or whoever's at the um, whoever's at Demonheim. But I've decided I'm trying to get two as soon as I hit 2 million Dungeoneering XP on the Dungeoneering account, I'm going to um, you know unlock the ability to use my Chaotic uh, staff. I believe I'm going to do that to begin with to then go kill Canadomic Beast because they are quite good money per hour. Oh, but that's that. I'm going to quickly turn the challenge to kick off the Dungeoneering counter. That's 187k XP. So I'm going to be doing this every single day. So like the Dungeoneering thing every single... Like the task every day as well as the two sinkholes. Um, so that's quite a solid chunk of XP every day. As well as maybe a couple of dungeons. Um, with every... You know, with whoever wants to do it. So at this stage in the game, we're actually halfway to the Frost Dragon goal. I'm trying to get 1,000 Frost Dragon bones before I sell them all. Um, and hopefully I get about 15 mil profit from that. Uh, so, you know, I'm making some progress now. So obviously now I'm starting to um, accelerate with um, you know with regards to all the money being made. When I started the series, it took me a little while just to get my uh, you know just to get my feet and get my bearings. You know, picking white berries took a little while. Then obviously rune crafting nature runes to get you know enough money to buy gear and stuff took a little while. Um, you know that's all over and done with now. I can kill frost dragons. You know, and I've currently got 500 frost dragon bones. I'm gonna sell them on a thousand like I said before, and then hopefully make a lot of money. But halfway there, and hopefully I'll see you when I get 1,000 frost dragon bones. So one of the things about this series is obviously I need the best amulet in the game, and this is the one I haven't actually bought this during the series. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to the Dragon Rider amulet. It's gone. It's gone for good. And I know I set the goal of hitting uh, 1,000 Frost Dragon Bones. Looks like we're going to have to achieve that later on in the um, in the series. So I'm going to sell these real quickly. Hopefully not, I haven't dropped too much. So only 15k. That's so ridiculous. But that's essentially how to make your first 10 mil when you start from scratch. Um... I got 11 mil cash, that's always good, get out of here. So I got my first 10 mil in cash, which is good. Um, and got to go buy my Dragon Rider amulet back. And we can get cracking. So it wasn't the easiest thing, destroying the Dragon Rider amulet, but it's got to be done for the series. Got 10 mil in my money pouch. Please. Can I have... Hold on a sec, where is it? Would I like to reclaim my Dragon Rider amulet? Thank you, sir. Ah, it's good to have the best amulet back in the game. And if you guys didn't know, you can actually buy another 20 battle staves from Baba Yaga. Um, so that's a little bit of extra profit every single day, which is always nice. A little bit of extra profit goes a long way. Um, so that's a little tip. But one of the things in this series, which I'm going to be doing a lot, is collecting potion flasks every single day. And the way I do that is use the Ooglug teleport. Um, did the Ooglug teleport with a pack yak and then run a little bit east. It's, a, it's the best way to get to the 
um, to the rooms place or whatever this is called, the mining rock. And then once you collect those, you store them in your pack yak and you're away with potion flasks. Yeah, so a quick tip for you guys as well is when you have the um, red sandstone, sandstone, make sure you empty as many into your inventory as you can. Um, so you can then fill the robust glass machine and it just requires, it's just easier just to use it in your inventory. So you can then, when you transfer from your yak to your inventory, um, you can just trade more at a time and I'll show you what I mean right now. So basically transfer them over and there's just more room so you can trade them like that. And that's just a little tip for you guys if you want. So seeing as the Swift Gloves, I believe they are the range version of the Dominion Tower Gloves, are probably the best ones to be using for range. Um, I'm going to have to kill five bosses real quick and buy me some Swift Gloves. So that's five bosses, and I'm going to collect my rewards here real quick. Got a Dominu Bomb, whatever that's called. Collect these. I might just drop these, actually. I might as well keep the uh, nature in, but I'm going to collect the reward from the Strange Face. Killed five bosses. Give me the Swift Gloves, please. And I need them to be black. Mm-mm, the best gloves you can get. So I've been playing for one and a half days on the From Scratch. Got an armored helmet, Dragon Rider amulet, Royal Crossbow, Swift Gloves. Not bad for a day and a half.